Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Uh, got Paula with me today, demonstrate everything. Uh, we got a good one for you today. Uh, we'll start off with a warm up. It's going to be three rounds. It's not time today, it's just three rounds. Uh, we're going to start off with five candlesticks, five inch worms, 10 T planks, and then 10 jumping uh, squats. So, five candlesticks. If you need a mat, grab a mat at home. You're just going to lay down, roll back, stand up, try to open up those hips as much as you can to get back up and with the momentum. If not, you can use your hands to help you back up, obviously. So you do through, uh, go through five reps of that. And then you'll go into five inchworms. So keeping your legs nice and straight, reach for the floor, walk yourself out, and walk yourself back if you don't have that much room. If you do have a lot of room, you can walk your feet up to your hands and then just continue on. All right. From there, you're going to go into 10 T-planks. So you can get into a push-up position, then you're going to rotate your body one way, and then the other way, that will be one rep. Perfect. And then into 10 jumping squats. So just work on getting full depth in your squat and jumping as high as you can, get the explosiveness of your hips to uh, work for you. All right. So once the warm up is done, you're going to go through your uh, movement prep and then we'll get ready for the, uh, the work of the day. Today, it's a 12 minute imam. All right. We're going to have three exercises. So you're basically going to go through this four times. Uh, the first one is going to, they're all 45 seconds long. All right, with a 15 second break in between each exercise. So the first one is gonna be a wall sit. All right, you're just gonna find a spot at, the, at home, on the wall, get into the seated position where your legs are 90 degrees, the smaller your back is against the wall, and you're gonna hold that for 45 seconds. If you wanna make this even more uh, challenging, you can even hold a, a plate, a weight, something to make it a little bit tougher. All right, once the 45 seconds is up, you have a 15 second break, and then we go into a handstand hold. So you're gonna kick yourself up into your handstand position, like so. You wanna keep your core nice and tight and pushing against the floor actively, all right? If kicking up is difficult, is difficult for you, you can always just turn around and do a wall walk up, or the scaled version would be to use your stairs, a box, just like you would your handstand push up and get into the pike position and just, again, keeping your shoulders uh, as active as possible as you're pressing through the floor. All right, then you're gonna have a 15 second break. And then you're gonna go into a V-sit hold for 45 seconds. So legs off the ground as straight as possible in a seated position. So you're basically 90 degrees at the waist, um, reaching, staying up without having to, <laughs> just like so, uh, without having to fall behind you. All right, we're gonna go through this whole thing four times to so uh, even out to 12 minutes. Once that's done, you guys will have a little bit of chance to grab a drink of water, uh, rest a little bit as we explain to you the workout uh, on Zoom and uh, get you ready for that. So the workout today, it is for time. It is five rounds of four different exercises. The first one we have uh, dumbbell sumo deadlift high pulls. You can use a barbell as well if you prefer barbells, that's fine as well. Um, into 15 hang squat cleans. If you're using a dumbbell, you're alternating. If you're using a barbell, just uh, hang squat cleans. Into 10 push-ups, into five handstand push-ups. All right. So first movement, we have dumbbell sumo deadlift high pulls. So you're gonna straddle the barbell, or sorry, excuse me, the dumbbell between your feet, bum down, chest up. And it's basically like the, uh, the uh, snatch, but you're not finishing the movement. You're just exploding through the hips, and pulling, keeping that elbow above the dumbbell. All right, you're gonna keep the, uh, the sets evenly between left arm and right arm. All right, so you can go 10 on one, uh, one side, 10 on the other side, five and five, or you can alternate every one, it's up to you. If you do have a barbell, it is the barbell sumo deadlift high pull, like we do in class. So nice and wide stance, starting in mid shin, and again, drive through the hips, pull those elbows up so that the bar gets to your collarbone, all right? Once you've done those 20 reps total, you can go into 15 hang squat cleans. So with a the dumbbell, they will be alternating. All right, so you start either from the side or the middle, it's your choice. Heave up, catch on the shoulder into a squat, stand up, and then back down to another rep. That would be two reps. All right, exact same thing with the barbell. The only difference is there's no alternating now. You're just basically doing uh, 15 reps. There you go, perfect. If you do have weight on the bar, you can go as low as you want, as long as the bar does not touch the floor. All right, right? Yes. Yes, so with, 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 that's fine, but even with an empty bar, what she was doing was fine, going down to mid shin because there's no weight on the bar, you're not actually touching the floor, you're good. All right, once you're done your, uh, your hang squat cleans, you're gonna go into push-ups. 
So stack yourself into plank position, chest to the floor, push back up, full extension of the arms. Don't cut your reps short just to uh, get through, through them quicker. Um, you can also do it off the knees if uh, you need to. All right. And then from there, once your arms are fried, yes, we're going to make you do handstand push-ups. Uh, you're going to kick up into your handstand push-up if you have a wall available at home. And if you are comfortable with this, um, you're going to perform your handstand push-ups that way. Otherwise, you're going to grab box, uh, your stairs, ottoman, whatever you plan on using to get your feet or your knees on to do your handstand push-ups. And last but not least, you can do bear push-ups. The bear push-ups would be standing. Um, with basically your hips above your head as much as possible going into your push-up all right once you've done your five handstand push-ups you start back over and finish your five five rounds as fast as you can uh today's cap for that is 18 minutes all right so good luck with that have fun with it it's a good little workout um to finish off the day we have a nice little wrap up uh you have 100 reps to do <laughs> courtesy of paula no <laughs> uh they are lateral weighted uh, lunges off a plate or an elevated item okay so nothing too high so a box would not work all right a plate an inch two inches even three inches if it might be pushing it but you don't want to go too too deep all you can do is step to the side into a lateral lunge back onto the plate all right so 50 per side that totals up to 100 once we are done with that our outside the box challenge is a I can't even know, I don't even know how to pronounce it it's basically a, a candlestick handstand or a candlestick into a handstand um, it's a fun one so what we want you to do is we're we want your attempts we want you to film yourself attempting this I don't even think well Paula can do it I can't do it Rob tried and very I guess it was a successful run but iffy <laughs> um, but it, it's all fun and games to, to watch people try this stuff okay so basically you're going to get in onto a mat if you need to uh, you can do a candlestick and you're basically going to flip up into a handstand hold against a wall all within one fluid motion all right so it's going to be a fun little challenge for you to do and up you go oh there you go that a girl see she makes it look too easy way too easy um, so that's a challenge. Film that. If you, if you get it, awesome. If you have some failed attempts, <laughs> post them anyways because we, we all want a little bit of a smile. All right. Other than that, have yourselves a great day and we'll see you tomorrow for another good workout.